वी आर टेकिंग क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर आंसर सेशन दिस सेशन इज फॉर दोज हु आर ऑलरेडी रजिस्टर्ड विद अस प्लीज मेक अ नोट दैट दिस इज नॉट ए क्लास राइट नाउ वट यू आर वी आर टेकिंग इज नॉट ए क्लास बट दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सेशन फॉर आवर रजिस्टर्ड कैंडिडेट्स वी आर टेकिंग दिस सेशन एट रेगुलर इंटरवल्स फॉर आवर रजिस्टर्ड कैंडिडेट्स सो टूडे वी गॉट सम क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम आवर रजिस्टर्ड कैंडिडेट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी गॉट अ केस नॉट अ क्वेश्चन वी गॉट इट सेल्फ अ केस फ्रॉम डॉक्टर पारूल we will show the case we will show the picture we will show the video whatever we have received from dr parul we will get back to this part and the second thing what we are getting multiple questions from dr durgesh we are having academic head also by the name of durgesh but this is a registered candidate dr durgesh so the first question these are the copy pasted questions what i mean by copy pasted the language is original as we got this so we copied there and pasted over here so the question from dr durgesh is that my question is that i face difficulty in focusing uterus during tvs so i will elaborate the question uh, the doctor wants to know why she is not getting the uterus in one second when she is inserting the probe so the first question from the candidate is that my question is that i face difficulty in facing uterus during tvs second how to see for a para ovarian cyst third question when a pregnant lady comes for usg and she says that she is full term and her edd is 15 to 20 days plus or minus and usually it is minus so the point here is that the edd in third trimester is not corresponding with the edd by as per lmp what to do which one to take that is the question i am elaborating the question and i am putting the original language so the next question is that sir next question is how to focus on afi measurements when i see a pocket is see i see fluid but when i move probe i see cord or fetal parts in same pocket should i measure the pocket or search for another pocket so i am elaborating and summing up this long question is that she is having a difficulty with afi calculation she is uh, not very much uh, sure whether to take this pocket or that pocket how much should be the cord there and while she is moving from here to maybe tilting the probe she is hitting another she is getting confused with multiple pockets she doesn't know which pocket to take so these will be the questions which we will discuss today i am having a hard copy of this picture of uh, these questions also so this is the hard copy which i am keeping always with me for reference i will come to these questions but before this i would uh, like to have some questions from you candidates who is live with me right now the format will be you have to raise the hand i will be taking live questions from you the format is that you have to raise the hand not this physical hand there are three dots the more option the three dots you have to click on the three dot that is the more option and the raise hand option will pop up over there and you have to just click on the raise hand and we will unmute your system from our side but please make a note if you are having a background noise don't raise the hand because your background noise will disturb whole of the class so make sure before raising the hand make sure that you don't have any background noise so i'll be waiting for uh maybe a couple of minutes to see for any hand raised so we got uh, a hand raised from dr p yadav dr p yadav we are sending you unmute invitation please make a note unmute invitation is there on your system whatever device you are using the unmute option is over there you have to unmute your system and say hello so that we can check whether you are audible or not dr yadav accept the unmute in, in invitation please don't unnecessarily raise your hand not for the trial purposes we will we'll not uh, uh, have sufficient time here so dr p yadav 
Yes, good evening, good evening. Please put your question. Doctor Spinozis, okay. Okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Have you completed fetal color Doppler? Yes or no? No, 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 no. Have you completed fetal color Doppler? Yes or no? No. This is the point. The basic point is that I'm muting you so that there will be no disturbance from your side. Dr. Yadav is putting me question how to scan a uterine artery and what are the uh, indications to scan the ductus venosus. But Dr. Yadav has not even touched the color doctor yet. Please make a note. If you are putting a question and you have not even touched that topic yet, how can you post the question? How to take a uterine artery? It will take about a two hours. I am ready to give two hours. But today we are taking question and answer session. Please pose your question from the topic, whichever you have completed or even started. So this is a detail. This is not a question. This is a detailed topic which is there in your uh, color Doppler. Please complete your color Doppler or at least start that. Then you can pose your question. So next question is from Dr. Ru Rutu Aza. Dr. Rutu Aza, we are unmuting your system. Please uh, uh, accept it and say hello. Good evening. Yes, please question, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got, got it, got it. I will elaborate your question and you will tell me whether I have got your question right or not. The question from Dr. Uh, what is your name, ma'am? Rutu Oza. Dr. Rutu Oza is having a question whenever she is scanning the pancreas, she is, have, uh, she is getting the pancreas, but only thing the anatomical structures she is getting is the splenic vein only but beneath that inferior vena cava aorta sma she is not well appreciating on the screen am i right yes, sir. okay done so the point i'm muting you so that there will be no disturbance so the point is that you have to understand the ultrasound i mean the physics of ultrasound the beam is coming the beam is coming from a structure for example i am having here a mass or a tissue say tissue i am having here a tissue now assume that here i am having a tissue up to this point from here to here i am having a tissue and here i am having a pancreas here i am having pancreas and beneath here i am having the other vessels which i want to see now the point is when i am putting probe over here and i am sending the uh, beam through the tissue or through the gas then it is reaching the pancreas and thereafter it is going into the vessels whichever you want to scan what will be the level of attenuation up to that target which you want to see that will be less why it will be less because it is crossing the stomach first here i am having stomach first stomach is having full of gas always so if i don't have gas above now assume that the uh, uh, ultrasound waves are coming this way and it is hitting the stomach which is not full by full I mean that there is no fluid in that and there is some gas it will get attenuated until the time it reaches the structures 
it is very weak that is why you are not seeing more clearly structures beneath the splenic vein now what to do you have to first to make sure uh, that the beam will not get attenuated till the time it is reaching the deeper part first point what you have to do is that make your stomach full full of what full with fluids because if there are some gas over there it will attenuate the beam so make sure that your this sorry the stomach is full with water so give prayer water to the patient so that the beam will not get attenuated and it will penetrate the deeper structures then only the anatomy will be clear i hope that uh, i have answered your question if anybody is having any more question most welcome uh there is one uh person who has joined with the title of dr only not with the name but with the title of dr only we have sent the remote invitation please go to our name first yeah good evening dr zainab yes mm -hmm. okay that so the question from dr zainab is that i am muting you so that there will be no background noise the point is that the question is rather that if i am having an ecogenic cardiac foci she is talking of the fetal heart if we are having an ecogenic cardiac foci in the fetal heart what is the significance and when to scan the patient back and uh, the other thing first of all there are possibilities possibilities in inverted commas that you are dealing with an abnormal fetus possibilities no certainty possibility now if we are having an ecogenic cardiac foci there are possibilities of how we having trisomies especially this drown and maybe uh, trisomy 13 also so the point is if you are having an ecogenic cardiac foci please scan the fetus detailedly and give sufficient time to rule out any possible abnormality and if you pick any possible any abnormality be it a club foot only then that cardiac foci is reflecting something very dangerous but if but if there is nothing abnormal from the fetus side there is nothing abnormal and there is isolated uh, this uh, cardiac foci only then it doesn't carry any significance you don't need to recall the patient back but if you are having ambiguity yeah maybe that there is some defect in the heart in the setting of having an uh, cardiac foci ecogenic cardiac foci then rescan the patient not by you maybe you have to refer that uh, uh, fetus for uh, some uh, second opinion also but if you are sure that there is nothing abnormal from the fetus then there are possibilities that this will be an isolated case of having the cardiac uh, foci which carries no significance at all so now i hope that uh, you are satisfied and you have got your answer uh, now let me go to today's questions first question is that now i will put the question first so the first question we are having multiple gadgets over here because this is all tech dependent so the point here the question rather not the point what we will discuss now is uh, from the list so the question number one from Dr. Durgesh is that my question is that I face difficulty in focusing the uterus on TVS. Why? 
Now try to understand the TVS first. And before TVS, try to understand the uterine position. The uterine position. You are missing the uterine position. What I mean that uh, whenever whenever you are scanning a uterus that uterus that uterus can be antiverted normally or it can have now see if uterus that will not discuss the antiversion or the retroversion here if uterus is like this standing in the center standing in the center see to my hand standing in the center then if whenever you are inserting the probe let me uh take a pop-up of my screen yeah now assume that uterus is standing in center like this center of the body is it standing in the center of body assume there is nothing harm in imagination then whenever you are putting probe inserting the probe you will hit the uterus only but my question to your question counter question is that is uterus always is uterus always in center it is never in center sometimes it can be this way sometimes it can be that way sometimes it can be more antiverted sometimes it can be retroverted the point here is that you have to first see whether the uterus is more antiverted or retroverted that is why when you are inserting the probe you are expecting to hit the uterus from the center it will not come so make a habit of seeing to the uterine position first where the uterus is if it is more antiverted then you have to lean your body now see then you have to lean your body towards this side and if it is more retroverted you have to see this way so don't expect the uterus to be in the center and you are expecting it in the center that is why you are facing this problem second question how to see for a para ovarian cyst now I can say that this is an ovarian cyst before para ovarian cyst I can say that any cyst is a ovarian cyst if I see it is emerging from the ovary but if I see a separate normal ovary and the cystic lesion is not arising from the ovary then only I can say it is a para ovarian cyst okay now third question is that when a pregnant lady comes to comes for USG this is the question uh, as it is we have got the copy pasted uh, question over here when a pregnant lady comes for USG and she says that she is full term and her EDD is within 15 to 20 days but when I do a USG EDD comes very late sometimes one month forward what in this condition what we should do sir mistake please so now i am summing up the question the edd is not correlating in third trimester which edd to take lmp wala or uh, the uh, whatever we are scanning right now and getting the edd that wala so this is the question so the important point here is that there is a misconfusion in edd that whenever we are taking fetal head femur length abdominal circumference in third trimester it is for example 34 weeks for example 34 weeks but but as per lmp she is not 34 weeks if as per abdominal perimetry head circumference femur length and other perimeters she is coming 34 weeks but as per lmp she is 38 weeks which one to take there are two possibilities first you have to understand you have to shake more of your neurons whenever you are doing ultrasound and you are interpreting the ultrasound there are two possibilities first is that this is a constitutionally small fetus point number one and the second possibility is that maybe that that is a late conception only gynecologists right now live with me having a small experience little experience of ultrasound please raise the hand not the physical hand in the pop-up uh, there is a raise hand option i want to direct uh, interact with somebody so that this will go more interactive than one-sided session so any volunteer please come forward dr uh, reshmi uh, you there 
नेक्स्ट पर्सन डॉक्टर जैतून प्रोबेबली या डॉक्टर आरती देर इज लॉट ऑफ बैकग्राउंड नॉइस फ्रॉम योर साइड डॉक्टर रेशमी यू देर या विद मी इज डॉक्टर रेशमी शी विल टेल मी इफ दैट इज अ केस ऑफ लेट कंसेप्शन हाउ कैन आई से डैट दिस इज अ केस ऑफ लेट कंसेप्शन एंड नॉट ए कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली स्मॉल फीटर्स वेरी गुड very good dr rashmi the only thing is that we have to see the early pregnancy scan yes if early pregnancy scan is available and the early pregnancy scan is also having a four weeks shot then i am dealing with late it will not be four i am just giving an example if it is correlating since beginning dr rashmi are you getting the point then it is late conception but what if it is not a late conception now we know how it is late conception what that can be constitutionally small fetus very good now if i don't have a late conception then this is constitutionally small fetus but maybe that that is an asymmetrical iucr dr reshmi how to make sure that i am not dealing with an iucr yes, sir uh, we will have a uh, abdominal circumference and uh, circumference pi very good so it means that the third possibility is asymmetrical iucr those who are watching uh, me via youtube are not able to hear to the uh, questions from the candidates because they are with me from this mic which is going in my ear so that is why i am elaborating the question also so the third possibility is having asymmetrical iucr with asymmetrical iucr the head circumference and the abdominal circumference should be altered so if that is the case with high hcac ratio that is asymmetrical iucr so this way we can make sure whether we are dealing with late conception or uh, constitutionally small fetus or asymmetrical iucr now the last point regarding the edd whatever edd we are getting from the first trimester remains superior maintains its superiority throughout the pregnancy it means even today i am scanning 34 weeks but as per early pregnancy edd i mean early pregnancy edd early pregnancy scan edd she is 36 then i will forget about that edd whatever is coming in third trimester i will go to the first trimester scan and i will take from there only so this was a detailed answer uh, regarding this question now the last question is uh, sir next question is how to focus uh, for afi now see the point here is that uh, many of us are confused with this afi how to calculate i am time and again stressing on class that you have to divide the abdomen in four quadrants but not only four quadrants now see what is happening if for example this is the quadrant this is one quadrant and i am putting probe on the top like this now see like this i will be hitting this quadrant but if i will tilt the probe now see if i will tilt the probe am i hitting this quadrant or i will be hitting other quadrant i will be hitting other quadrant but what my mind will think my mind will go with the logic that this quadrant has been scanned so this is the point that put your probe perpendicular with respect to patient at 90 degrees then only you are hitting the quadrant which is beneath your probe don't do angling 
whenever you are scanning uh, whenever you are uh, taking these afis so divide the abdomen in four and put your pro perpendicular with respect to patient it should not be completely uh, 90 degree but it should be somehow like this only not angle if you will angle you are hitting other quadrant and your mind will think that i am taking uh amniotic fluid index of this pocket but actually you are hitting another pocket from this side and you are miscalculating the overall afi that is point number first very important point point number second is that if there is a lot of uh i will say uh i'm uh, the squad there is more of cord than fluid or there is more of fetal parts than fluid then don't take that fluid in account so this was the last question from the list now uh, we will try to show you uh, dr parul's uh, case uh, which we have received on uh, i think uh, on whatsapp so let me check uh, let me see if we can display that those who are mu uh, uh, unmuted please mute yourself please mute yourself everybody so let me check if we can share the screen as a whole for this uh, what's a web which i don't know will yet succeed or not i will check almost succeeded yes ha huh. so we have succeeded in displaying the case whatever we have got we have succeeded today so we were making these attempts uh, before also uh, but today we have succeeded so this is the case which we have got from dr parul dr parul is telling us uh, that we are having uh, that she is having a case ecogenic this is the uh, comment which i got from dr parul ecogenic liver lesion in liver gb with calculi 80 years female loss of appetite stool not passed since three days whole abdomen pain fluid uh, mild fluid in peritoneal cavity uh, in pelvic region uh, please comment on this case so first of all what we are saying this is the uh, video which we have got if we can make it on full screen yes we have uh, now let me play this first of all this is the liver over here this is the liver now see this is the liver uh, in uh, transverse section this is more of transverse now this is going in a longitudinal section so this way you have to measure it will not uh, take whole class over here so we will see what is wrong with this liver in this liver what we are seeing i am seeing some areas of increased eco texture i will not say increased mixed eco texture so see over here see over here we are having a mixed eco texture area over here so there is not one there are multiple uh, altered eco texture patches in this uh, liver mm -mm -mm. yes now this yes this is the very important very good clip over here if we will be able to pause this over here not sure yeah uh, a bit backward i will go yes here now see over here this is a patch over here this is of increased ecogenicity this is of increased ecogenicity patch over here now pay attention over here this is the increased ecogenicity patch over here and there is not only one there are multiple patches over here in this liver one second and third over here what is over here i can see a hypoechoic rim over here this is the halo 
very important this is the halo so what we are seeing in this liver is the multiple ecogenicity patches in liver with a halo now coming to the case 80 years female keep in your mind 80 years loss of appetite and there is some fluid so let us uh, keep in mind that the patient is elderly patient 80 years and loss of appetite not able to pass the stool since three days this is what i am reading three days so there is some constipation maybe maybe that there is a ca somewhere in intestine maybe in colon right maybe that there is a uh, mass in colon or maybe somewhere in uterus which is compressing on to the intestine and that is the cause of not passing stool since three days maybe yes because whatever i am seeing in liver looks like mats so this is about a 99 percent case of liver mats now let's play this again not again more to see what else we can see over here so liver is increased with altered architecture because we are having multiple patches which is occupying the uh, uh, liver making it more uh, in length and on the top we are having uh, this gallbladder this is the gallbladder over here with multiple calculis so the case of cholecystitis there, there is cholecystitis also because we are seeing the uh, this gb wall also increase with cholelithiasis and multiple mets liver mets over there in the liver now let us see what else we can see uh so clearly having these mats in the liver now let us uh, wait for uh, some time because i want to see if uh, the doctor has put the probe on the pelvis yes she has now this is the uh, bladder over here what is here this is the fluid over here now see this is the fluid this is the fluid this is bladder fluid is over here this is the fluid over here so this is ascites so we got liver mats and this ascites is telling me doctor you are on right track this patient is having a ca somewhere and this is the indication that i am on right path because i am having ascites also so this patient is 99.99 a ca maybe somewhere in colon with liver mats gallbladder is having multiple calculi and on the top we are having some uh, increased gb wall also and there is mild ascites also so we have concluded this case i hope that uh, you are getting benefited by these uh, case discussions so you can share your cases with us uh, on our whatsapp but the performer the performer should be that uh, you have to send uh, us the case in the sequence the sequence will be you have to some some pictures you have to send a short video and you have to give us a brief history of the patient also then only we can entertain that case for discussion so uh that is all for now so you can post your questions in your batch groups and uh not no not even a batch group uh to our helpline number that is four times nine thirty four seventy two forty two that you know the helpline number you can post your questions whenever you will be having but a request that don't post the question from any uh topic which you have not even touched for example you have not touched the color doppler how can you put a uh, question of a color doppler because maybe that that thing is already in great detail over there uh, in color doppler whenever you will go there you will understand the topic so the note is that at least you have to touch that topic to pose the question and uh, if you want to send any case you can send on our helpline number thank you very much see you next time god bless you